Well, the San Diego Regional Science Olympiad is taking place at San Diego at Miramar College today. All right, time to check in with Dave Scott. He is live in Miramar where the competition is going to get underway. Good morning, Dave. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's been incredible. I've been fascinated because they just were launching these ping pong balls with parachutes. And, you know, they were, if, if you look up in the seal, look up there. It, this is a gymnasium, basketball gymnasium. And it's state of the art because this campus is really was kind of completed in 2009, 2010. Uh, they're still adding to it. We're at San Diego Miramar College, and it's just a marvelous place. Uh, and for the last Last quarter of a century, they've been holding the Science Olympiad, the San Diego Regional. Joining me this morning is Peter Hung, and thank you very much, Peter, because you got to be proud of all these kids. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Science Olympiad is something that I competed in when I was in high school, and um, when I went to Caltech, um, I said, "Hey, we got to be doing Science Olympiad." And it turns out, a quarter of the undergraduate students at Caltech competed in Science Olympiad, and. And so for the past five years, Caltech has been hosting the State Science Olympiad Tournament, and we've been able to spread the idea of having alumni help out with the Science Olympiad program. So you spread out in that way, but it's spread out to all the students. How many schools, how many students, and where are they all from? So in Southern California, we have about 500 schools participating in Science Olympiad in both middle school and high school. And so that comes out to thousands of students participating in Science Olympiad. How many events do you have? Because we saw the glider, mm -hmm. we saw the uh, parachute with the ping pong ball, but I I'm sure there are others, right? Right. So Science Olympiad, in Science Olympiad, there are a total of 46 events covering from chemistry, physics, biology, astronomy, earth science, engineering. It's all parts of science and engineering. So it's not just the gymnasium, but I guess you have other rooms around the campus where they're competing in different uh, parts of science. That is correct. So we have things that are in the laboratories. We have things that are more engineering events like in the gym. And we may even have things on the track where students are building vehicles that's powered by gravity or mousetrap. That's incredible. Well, you, now these, explain this, Peter. This is a, just like a, a little mini plane with a propeller. That is correct. So students in this event called Right Stuff, they are building a airplane using balsa wood and using uh, a rubber band to power the plane to glide and to fly in the in the air as long as possible. I gotta ask you because these are fantastic and even my kids they love these you know the, the air, building the little balsa wood planes and flying them they wouldn't fly very far but these are so fantastic they would have just loved these the kids should sell these the young scientists building these are, are they ever going to make these for sale this is incredible well I think part of part of what the students are doing is you know not only is it a competition but they're actually working together with other teams so what we've seen is teams from different school districts from different schools are working together to collaborate to figure out what is the best way to build their... Well, this one's getting lower, if you can see it. Wouldn't it be great to buy one of these? Would you buy one, Peter? Oh, totally. I would totally buy one. Yeah. Oh, look, it's coming right at the camera. <laughs> this is fantastic. What a great one run. That was amazing. Oh, my goodness. Jason Elizabeth, did you see that? It came right towards the camera. Yeah, we um, saw it as it happened, Dave. I just... I gotta find. Some, I gotta see if they if if they're gonna like how if you wanted to buy one, how much would it be? Well, I don't know. I would I would ask the students, but I would I would probably say priceless because they put in the. Uh... Peter, walk over there with me. They, they, they got it right on this table. Let's go find out. Could you imagine they could have a whole new business? I mean, let's see what let's see what if they were to to sell it how much would they you guys that was fantastic great job uh, let me get your name uh, we're, I'm Lane Lynn? Lane Lane and I'm Lucas Lucas uh, you're live on Good Morning San Diego I know you guys are hard at work but everyone's fascinated with that plane it was such a good flight oh, yeah. wouldn't it be great if you guys could sell these um, if, how much how much would you uh, sell them for if you if they were on the market what could you see a good uh, price <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I'll be happy to talk to you after. We're kind of on the clock right now. We're on the clock. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 
Well, I, you guys are fantastic, and, and you're looking at aviators of the future, and of course, actually, and they're right now, and they're building such great things. Um, what is the plastic that you used? Any particular kind right there for the wings? These, um, mylar, yeah. Mylar? Yeah. So it's balsa wood, mylar, <clears throat> and, and Peter, it's just yes. fantastic. With it. I mean, that plane there is so incredible. Absolutely. They spend hours and hours yes. building it and then tens and hundreds of hours practicing in gyms to optimize it so that it will fly the longest duration of time possible, um, including a lot of trimming so that it turns just the right angle to take advantage of the entire space that we're providing them. Well, Peter, thank you so much for joining us. We've got the kids there, and, of course, they're, they've got uh, ready to, to launch again, but it's, it's so fantastic. When does the Olympiad wrap up? Uh, so the competition runs from 8 in the morning all the way until 3.30, and then it ends with an award ceremony for about two hours in the evening. And are uh, the public invited? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, you guys, you heard that. Back to you, the public. Public is invited. Come on out to San Diego Miramar College. Just amazing. So cool to see our future, not only aviators, Dave, but like engineers, I mean, scientists from like all of the different areas. Yeah. And the planes are just Well, they're getting ready to so launch it again. Cool. Yeah, so. let's, let's watch this. These are so cool. All right, here we go. Well, this is a competition. Keep yeah. that in mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See how they, they wind up the rubber band there. This is what See we used to play. We, we, remember, Dave, when we used to get these as kids? Yeah. The little little oh, rubber yeah. band power I really planes. do. This is that's why I'm. That's exactly why I'm fascinated with this, Jason, because we used to do the, the little army men with the parachutes, yes. and we tried to build these little planes, but they got, I mean, it was nothing like this, what you're about to see. Look at this. He's going to launch it again. I mean, it's fantastic. Look at the, they, this one starts low and actually... With the, as the propeller turns, it rises. Steve, this is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, this is a great event for the, call, the high school students to uh, learn the sciences. They, uh, they get to trim their planes. and uh, Everybody watching wants to buy one of those planes. It's just, yeah, it's a fun little uh, it's fun <laughs> thing for them. You should, have, you should have them for sale now. Yeah. Make many. Uh, anyway, we're going to toss it back to you. But, yeah, I mean, can you believe that? Yeah. They ought to sell these perfected. things. Yeah, we they're see. great. Yeah, they are. That, 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 <laughs> no porpoising. Like he said, they trim their planes up, tr trial and error, get Amazing. them just nice and level. Love it. All right, thanks, Very Dave. Talented.